find the exit out of this place. Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Let's keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. to our city and to our prophet, Father Christ. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the sudden beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the sodom below? Newly come to Colombia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Colombia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I'm just looking to pass through. Hey, I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. There. Bring us the curb and wipe away the jet. What do you want? We had a deal to it. Open this door right now. I told you. I'm not gonna do it. Now go away. Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! Idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. 
so that I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Above all of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll. So that Eden might have lands that set her above all other nations. Our prophet fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware. Sword and wings of angels. Aragon of virtue, a rebel against ignorance and tyranny. By, By the sword, sword and, and the, the scroll. scroll. There is no chance, no luck, only providence. Well, just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right, still got a girl to find. Fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute like does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference, only duty. Salt stalls all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh -huh. I told you that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still up. All work which should have been done months ago. And then the archangel showed a vision. A city, lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, Prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? like all the rest.
Picking the right event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. Can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. Columbia Raffle and Fair. Huh. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. Bad cloudless skies, warm temperatures, and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. Hello. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. Patriotic League. <laughs> Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. Now do I? Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutess. What the...
Why, good day to you, sir. Hello. Through here, pal. At streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough to back there to blow up King to Kingdom. Better find another way around. As Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One swing and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of bucking bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, bucking bronco. Right in the sky. The Vox Populi are on the loose. Who will hunt them down? I'll try. Well, hell, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the Vox when they appear, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. <laughs>
Advances in science. Hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander. Lots of folks, lots of folks. Hear your voice from the past in the present. Say something, Sonny. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Have you ever seen anything like it? He looks so sad. Dear friend, have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Dear friend, have you ever lost a vending machine? It's just a whisper. They're all ears. <laughs> Press to turn machines into allies. What the hell was that? Howdy, sailor. Oh, and it poured in 
the storm. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh. Tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Just fine to me. I'd like to tell you Scandal. I hear the Father Franklin machine. stop soon. Division got them. If we're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system, we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. They got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox skull. <laughs> your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you are allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. Son, this street is closed. We'll see about that. I'm feeling lucky. You in my dreams. Sometimes I Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. That's a lucky number. 
I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right then. The winner is number 77! Oh, well, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First throw! Are you gonna throw it, or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. <laughs> we've got to do something yes, about that. You son of a bitch. Wait, uh, it's him. Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Stop him! Stop him! False shepherds come to lead our lamb astray! I told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose.
getting hot. What's going on? Sample. 